Anyway, we can't see shit. We don't have any spotters. All we know is to go straight forward with the big damn forklift pushing the big damn building. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not even gassing this thing, man. We just drive it. We just going with it. We're shoving it up in the damn building. That's how bad this boy is. I'm a little scared that I'm going to bump into some of the tires on the road. But if I do, I'm going to claim it's because there wasn't enough people working on Sunday. So I haven't been here that we should have had more people here and we'd have had more spotters and it would have been safer. And it damn sure wasn't my fault. But that's the way it is in America. <laughs> Nothing is ever anybody's fault. Everybody's always got a, you know, excuse and their inner child and their mother wasn't good enough to them and all that bullshit. Who gives a shit? If you fuck up, you just fuck up. Say, hey, I fucked up. What about it? And that's the end of it, usually. If you're a good worker, they'll keep you around. And if you're not, fuck it. Get you another job. And jobs ain't that hard to come by here in America, I'm telling you right now. If I could get a job, anybody can. I mean, really? I mean, I'm a juvenile misfit, pretty much, by anybody's standards. Immature and raucous and just overall not what you call a quality employee. But you know what? Because I got skills and some training, they keep hiring people just like me. Come off here and do shit just like I'm doing. Because they can't get all you little dot com or want to sit at the desktop folks out there to come in here and fool with no shit like this. You don't like to get sweaty, you don't like to get dirty, you're scared of loud noises and fucking big pieces of machinery, so you hide in fucking cubicles all day and pretend that you're having a life. They make a hell of a lot more money than I do, which pisses me off, and that's really why I'm bitching. Get some money. I don't give a fuck whether you work or sit in a cubicle or what. You just make a lot more money than me, and that pisses me off. I work too hard. But... These are the trials of life. These are the stations that we put ourselves in. And, you know, what are you going to do? You can't unwrite fucking uh, three centuries of bad breeding, alcoholism, and, you know, degenerate sexual practices all in just a few generations. Now, I'm proud to be my father's son. And we'd be doing it just like we'd be doing it and been doing it. I know my son is proud to be his father's son, and he's doing a damn good job of it, and I'm proud of him. He's uh, just a grade-A all-American young man, I can tell you that right now. Yep, fans and folks at YouTube, there you have it. The big damn forklift moved the big damn building like it wasn't nothing. So, watch my videos, tell me you love me, or I'll bring the big damn forklift over to your little damn house, and I'll drive right up through the fucking middle of it and say, hey, I blowed the horn, you should have got out of the fucking way. Peace!